Hey everybody, welcome to the new section of the course and this is the section from where things start to become interesting and serious at the same time. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is object oriented programming in the first place. I might assume some of you may have an idea what is object oriented programming and in case if you don't, then don't worry, I am here. So object oriented programming is not a programming language first of all it's just a way of writing code and so there are programming languages that support object oriented programming and almost all um, modern programming languages support object oriented programming such as java python c++ and there are a lot more there is no point mentioning all of them so why do we need object oriented programming in the first place um, let's say you write a method or a function and this function what it does it takes two number uh, you can call it main whatever it's this function takes a number and returns the square of it or this function calculates something does some operation on that uh, you know parameter and returns something this kind of programming is called structural programming structural programming and this kind of programming is good enough for smaller projects or application but things start to get messy when uh, you start to create or develop complex application or industry level application and that's why we need object oriented programming object oriented programming deals with objects and classes now what are objects and classes don't worry about them as of now in the next video we will be discussing that in detail so object oriented programming revolves around objects and classes these objects have some properties and functionality in the form of code this is the whole point of object oriented programming it is more object and data oriented rather than logic oriented here all the logics are wrapped around objects datas and classes this is the sense of object oriented programming also from interview point of view object oriented programming is one of the most important topic it doesn't matter if you are a fresher with no experience or some senior software engineer with experience object oriented programming is going to be there in some form so you need to be well versed with this topic and that's the point of this whole course so this is just a very basic overview what is object oriented programming and if you don't get this at this time this is just the beginning of the course you will be much more comfortable with these terms objects classes as we move further in the course so that's all about this video and hope to see you in the next video